Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how to come up with the team for the 220 cost class match. Somebody asked me how to make this uh, yesterday, so I'm deciding to do it today. I'm sorry it's a bit late. I, I mean, three days have already passed, but better late than never, right? So, um, 220 cost. So, uh, one of the first considerations that you should seriously think about is using Phoebe. And I'm not just saying this because she is a, uh, you know, a, a quickener. Instead, the reason I'm saying it is actually the 100 cost units because I think that they're just so, um, you know, very, very good that uh, to use them, you kind of really have to, there is only uh, like a few choices that you can use alongside them and another 80 cost unit. So uh, Phoebe, I think, becomes like the most obvious choice because, you know, say, you know, take any 100 cost unit of your choice, like say King Mont and any, you know, 80 cost unit. I'm just going to use uh, him right now. Now you're already at 180 and you can only go up to 40 more in cost and the choices are pretty limited. Um, I think Phoebe is the best choice here, but you can also go with like say Zazan or even Liart. Um, but I think Phoebe is just the best all around unit, not only because of Quicken, but she has a bunch of other things as well. Uh, she has, um, sorry, she has in her white mage sub drop she has you know protect shell she has some healing i mean it's not going to heal much because the 50 percent heal down but it's still quite a bit of healing she has full life which is very very good as soon as because there's so many uh, negative effects right now um and i, th I think this is just like an all-around good unit just for 40 cost so uh i think you know i think phoebe is a good starting point but uh you don't have to do that you can also do something like say uh you know zazan but if you're using zazan uh y you probably want to have somebody like you either want to have a quickener in the team somehow or you want to have uh some other kind of ct manipulation because zazan he's going to be slow in you so you really want to get him you know uh up to take a second turn so that he can go in and charm somebody or use his like massive skills to uh you know attack somebody you know do a lot of damage but uh, either way i think you know if you're using zazan or if you're using phoebe you're probably expecting to have some kind of ct manipulation in your team so um it's really your choice uh, i'm going to talk about zazan first because i think it's a little bit easier uh, to talk about uh, if you're using zazan um you're already at 200 cost with this team of like 100 cost 80 cost and zazan so you can actually use 200 cost units and one of them can be gilgamesh who is a quickener as well so you can use something like this or uh maybe even something like this um and do it and uh if you didn't want to use gilgamesh if you want to use like say king mont and you don't have a uh a quickener something you can do an idea for you is to do something like have him use kane's tmr and have somebody else use uh a rub's tmr so you have Keenblade blade and you have haste on Zazan and Zazan gets an additional move so it'll be move seven uh, and this is probably a solid idea that you can do with Zazan uh, so you know I, I'm gonna throw out a bunch of ideas uh, and hopefully you like one of these and, and stick with it but this is an idea and um, the second idea because I'm starting with Phoebe uh, you you have a bunch of things you can do with this um, one of the easiest ones to talk about right now is actually a double quicken team. So you can use Phoebe and Gilgamesh, and you can still have a third slot for your AD cost unit that you would like. You can have, for example, 9S if you want, and, and that reaches your 220 cost limit. Um, I feel like double quicken is not as big of an issue in um, this particular class match, simply because, uh, first of all, Phoebe and Gilgamesh are the only two units that have their EX and are Quicken units. So you have 80 cost left over. So whichever 80 cost unit that you pick, uh, it, they have some kind of weakness. Like for example, if I pick, um, I don't know, Federica, uh, Earth is a weakness for her. And she's also, she can only do missile damage. So if you have a missile uh, resistant unit, or if you have like a high defense unit, or if you have an earth unit, she is kind of limited with what she can do. Um, there isn't really any 80 cost unit that I can think of that uh, doesn't have a weakness. Like for example, if you put Kiza, for example, um, sure she's dark, so she will always do damage, 
but um, if you run into an evade team, this probably is not going to be able to handle evade, I don't think. Um, unless uh, they're resistant to charm or something, but how do you deal with 2B, you know? So uh, anyway, I, I, that's what I feel. I feel like every AD cost student right now has a weakness. Uh, Dwayne arguably doesn't have a weakness because, you know, he can get through barriers, he can get through like dark resist, he can get through slash resist, but he's a 100 cost unit. So he can't be your carry in this team because you have to use an 80 cost carry. If you are going to use like a double uh, quicken Dwayne, then you can't use these two as your quickeners. You have to use something like, for example, Nivlu, uh, and you have to use Shell. And, you know, this is fine. This oh, actually, you can't use Shell. You have to use Phoebe. 40 cost, my bad. Uh, yeah. So Phoebe and, and uh, Phoebe and Nivlu and Dwayne. So this this can work. Um, this is a, you know, a good double quicken uh, team. And instead of Dwayne, you can also use Black Rose Selena. And I think this is actually, you know, a very good uh, double quicken team, to be honest. Because like Dwayne, Black Rose Selena can also deal with so many things. She can get through Dark Resist. She can get through Magic Penetration, Spirit Penetration. Um, with her, you'll most likely want to use uh, Ketone's TMR for an additional move. And if you actually use Ketone's TMR, she can act from the middle slot that you start in. She can hit anybody on the entire map after two quicken turns if you use the uh, ketone steamer for initial move. So a team like this can absolutely work. Um, but if you're using ketone steamer, then you have to be wary that uh, if you do meet somebody with high magic resist, you will probably, you know, you will have a little bit of trouble because um, you're not using Garvel's TMR. Garvel's TMR gives you 50% magic resist, but as you're using ketone steamer, you don't have access to that. So another idea, if you're doing this, is to use Spellblade Sub, because with Spellblade Sub, you can now um, have an additional means of doing damage, because now you can also have slash damage, like Taunting Spell, uh, Dark Blade, these all deal slash damage, while these deal magic damage. So you have an additional way of dealing damage, um, so now you're really only worried about like a unit with high spirit or units that have both very high magic and slash resist. Um, but yeah, this is uh, you know another idea for you if you want to go with like a double quicken team. Um, but moving on, so the team that I'm using is Phoebe uh, plus 100 cost unit, and the one that I decided to go with is Dwayne. And then for the third unit, um, I basically want somebody that can fill in all the holes. So, uh, you know, this team has quite a bit of uh, things that it can handle. I mean, Dwayne does so much damage and uh, he also has some, you know, he's bulky, right? Like he's a dark unit, he's bulky. He has pretty good resists uh, with the vision cards that I have on him. Uh, he gets, you know, uh, good accuracy because I put, um, a black like you know black cross on the card which gives you accuracy so he has a bunch of things going for him and if i give him um an alexandrite ring to take care of uh evasion he can deal with a lot of things unless it's like an extremely evasive uh team with like all three evade cards um you have the lowell's tmr for additional luck you have a samurai buff in there for additional evade then uh, Dwayne is has, is ha has a little bit of trouble attacking enemies. Like maybe you would have like a 50% chance to land an attack on them. So I wanted to plug in that weakness, um, you know, just in case I meet an extremely evasive team. And I, and I think that is kind of common simply because the, the uh, UR Zazan is common and um, he is common in these like, you know, like earth evade uh, teams. So because of that, I wanted somebody to give him an accuracy buff. And I have two choices here. I have, like, say, Corwell or I have 9S. And if I put Corwell, I think my choices to, um, uh, what's it called? Like, f uh, my vision card choices are a bit more difficult because, so for Dwayne, I can put his own card, which gives the whole team 35% uh, attack. Once I find this card, yeah, this card. So it gives 35% attack to the whole team. So I feel like this is a good card for the team, regardless of what the third slot is, as long as it's a physical DPS. But now I struggle with what the third card should be, because I can do something like, you know, like uh, like this, and Corwell will get 
plus 35 wind attack or I can do something like this and uh, my Duane gets you know 35 dark attack but I can't really do something that benefits them both I can do this I suppose and both of them will get 25 instead of 35 which is an okay um, uh, you know it, it's okay because it benefits both of them um, but I feel like you know as Rangers their damage is already lower than other units uh, it's it's just the drawback of using a ranger so let's just take a look here to see what the attack difference is actually it's not too bad okay so 454 attack for Corwell versus 583 attack for Duane and I mean this is not really adding to attack so you can already see that the attack difference is quite significant even with just a um, you know with both of them at level 120 so with rangers i feel like i really always want to get off the um aimed fire buff because that is really when i start doing a lot of damage so i would be forced to kind of switch corwell to a gunner sub job and then i also need uh several turns to really get his get get him up there because i need to take a turn to use aimed fire then i probably need to take a turn to use uh revitalize on him uh, and then aim fire doesn't really help Dwayne at all. So it's like this team just kind of feels like it's not really syncing well together So instead I decided to go with um, 9s And so now with 9s uh, I again I can use this card which benefits both of them and then 9s I can use the Aegean VC which is where did it go this one so with this I get a few benefits. First of all, I get slash attack for both of them, which is good because both of them do do slash damage. Um, I get 15 accuracy for 9s because the Black Rose Helena VC, the accuracy from there doesn't really affect 9s. So he gets 15 instead of 25. And he additionally gets 25% HP, which makes both 9s and Wayne kind of tanky. So I feel like this is a, a overall good uh, team because it can cover many different bases. Like it can cover... Um, uh, evade teams quite well. Uh, it can cover uh, what's it called like uh, double quicken teams. Like if I beat a meet a double quicken uh, Black Rose Helena, uh, I can kind of handle it because of my Dwayne's jump. I have jump at level one on his dragoon sub, which lets me jump and stay in the air. Like if my enemy is planning on doing it, uh, turn one double quicken, uh, Dwayne can jump and stay in the air while the two quicken turns goes off so he's he will be immune to whatever happens during those quicken turns just because you'll be in the air so um i feel like i can handle you know a double quicken team with this team um i feel like i can handle away teams um i feel like i have uh you know protect shell uh and uh, quicken so i have means of engagement i have means of defense um 9s has a lot of defensive skills as well like shield deployment which gives defense and spirit to himself and allies um because he's in the nightblade sub job i have uh what's it called uh, double resist so increasing um missile resistance and pierce but most mostly missile resistance to himself and allies so i feel like this team is kind of capable of handling you know a lot of situations um so that's what that's how i went with this team but uh, there are other things that you can do uh, for example I mean again I'm gonna I'm gonna assume Phoebe as a base just because I feel like the 100 cost units are just so too good to pass up so I'm gonna get rid of this and instead of Duane I'm gonna put uh, King Mott because that can very easily work as well so what you want with this team is basically you have King Mont to apply his um, his limit burst King of Leonis you're basically trying to get uh, Mont in a position to do that and if you do that and get two of them caught in AoE most likely you, you won the game so um, you want your third unit to basically support King Mont to be able to do that so you can have um, another quickener that's you can do that you can put like say Nevlu in there and have double quicken Mont and have him do that but then this is lacking damage like every team has like strengths and weaknesses right so this team would be lacking damage because King Mont can berserk and uh, you know use his limit burst but then overall you, your team is not really doing a lot of damage so maybe you don't want to go with double quicken maybe you just want to go with single quicken uh, or maybe you can use somebody like um, uh, sorry like 
you can you can use like any other AD cost unit. You can you can use 9s if you want to have the accuracy buff. So 9s can give King Mont the accuracy buff so that King Mont can land his berserk even on enemies that have higher evade. Um, you can go with Kiza and have like a status inflicting team because now King Mont has a chance to inflict berserk, but uh, Kiza also has a chance to inflict charm on the enemies and Kiza actually now also does do high damage at uh, job level 120 because of her you know job level 120 skill um, so you can go with this um, there's actually one thing I want to mention with Phoebe actually before I continue because I've been talking about Phoebe being a base and my Phoebe is at level 120 but I think even at level 99 she does a lot of the job that she does now of course her stats are a bit higher like she gets an accuracy passive sorry not accuracy she gets an agility passive but she still has quicken she still has protect shell full life asuna uh, she has m most of the things that make her really good even at 99 so if you have her in 99 she can st you can still use her and again the reason i say phoebe is so good for this is not because phoebe is that great but because i think the 100 cost units are just too good to pass up um, but if you're using 100 cost unit, I feel like Phoebe is just the natural unit to pair with that unit, with that 100 cost unit. Um, but anyway, so these are some ideas that I shared. Uh, there are other things you can do. For example, like you can think of compositions where you don't use any 100 cost units. Uh, like for example, if you're using a gunner team, you can use something like Federica plus say Corvel or Nevlu uh, plus now you can use Phoebe, but if you're not using a Quickener, you can use somebody like uh, Mont. Where is Mont? The original Mont, wherever he is. Here he is. And with Mont, you would probably want to use Keen Blade so that you have at least some means of engagement. Um, but even still, I, I feel like, you know, I actually played one game with this team, and I feel like it's a little bit harder just because uh, if my enemy decides not to engage and stays in the corner, uh, if I engage, it's, it's going to be a little bit hard. I mean, I have one chance to engage with uh, with using, you know, Keen Blade, but um, I feel like overall it's just a little bit harder to use than to use Phoebe with uh, with, with with the team that I settled on. Um, I feel like uh, there are several disadvantages of the team. One of them being that you know both of these units have lower HP. And I'm not bringing any defensive cards or any HP cards on them. Uh, so I feel like uh, it's very easy for both of them to get one shot by so many different units. It's not the same with Duane or with Ninas. They Most of the time, I think they will need at least two hits. Uh, so they have a little bit more uh, wiggle room. Like if I make one mistake, at least I need a second hit to die. Where with these two, I mean, they can easily die in one hit. So... Um, it, it, but still, I mean, like, if range is your thing, this is not a bad team to go with. And also, instead of Mont, you can also go with Phoebe so that you have a means of engagement. But I feel like Rangers have uh, are just capable of handling so many things. Um, Federica has been given, uh, you know, missile penetration, so she will always do a lot of, like, some damage. Um, Corval with this uh, sniper sub, or instead of Corval, if you're using Nevlu, uh, both of these with their sniper uh, job they have dispel uh, to remove buffs they have barrier breaks to get again to remove barriers they have slow shot they have um, target target to uh, increase their defense penetration um, Corville has specialized in accuracy so he will most likely always be hitting your enemies and he does have a guaranteed hit skill as well Nevlu, um, she has access to haste and quicken so uh, both of them are very good units you can definitely go that route like you can actually just go with like a double quick in Federica like this too that can also work um, uh, so that's an idea if you if you want to go with it uh, there was something that I wanted to do but I actually don't have the vision cards to go with that team so this was a team that I was thinking of and I have the resources to uh, um, 120 like to, to EX Venera but the problem is there was a card that I want that I don't have. Uh, so if I was running this team, this is how I would run it. I would put this on Dwayne. I would put, um, where'd you go? The Black Rose Helena VC on uh, Phoebe. 
And now on uh, Venera, I would like to put this VC, which I don't have, which is, you know, the problem. Um, let me show you. Uh, this one, Maidens of the Rose. Now what this card does is for dark units, it gives 35% luck and 35% dexterity. So what that means is basically both Dwayne and Venera in this team get an additional 35% luck and an additional 35% dexterity and both those values increase your accuracy. So I feel like with that setup and with the 25% accuracy coming for dark units from from the uh, Black Rose VC, uh, I don't think I would have any problems with evade at all. Like I think uh, my units will probably be able to hit them, especially if I have like, you know, the uh, white marshmallow hat or the uh, Alexander ring. I, I don't see myself having a problem to uh, fight evade units with that kind of setup, but I don't have that vision card. So I decided not to go with it. Um, there are you know two differences you can go with building your team like you can go with like a team that are all the same element so you can have uh cards that would support that element like you know if i if i still wanted to go with this team i would probably run it something like this um like you know assuming i, I don't have that maidens of the rose vz i can still make this team work like this and this team will do a ton of damage because um you know, not only will they do a ton of damage, but they also have all these like, uh, like defensive buffs, like HP from this card, uh, magic resistance from this card. Um, and then I think it has Pierce resistance from this card. So, you know, like as a dark team, they have, uh, more synergy across, across the board, but, uh, you know, you just have to deal with it. Like if you want to go with like more synergy or if you want to go with something that kind of plugs your weaknesses. So for me, I decided to go with 9S because I felt like uh, accuracy would be a problem and sorry, evade would be a problem. And so I really wanted something that would give me like, you know, 90 plus percent, hopefully chance to hit these enemies. So that's why I went with 9S so that he can give that um, assault field buff. Um, so I, I feel like I've shared quite a bit of ideas, like, you know, starting with double quicken uh to you know like the team that i built and why i built my team that way um uh teams that i would build if i have the cards for <laughs> you know and and why i think these hundred cost units are just so insane because i mean these these units have so many things going for them like black rose helena and duane both of them it's really hard to mitigate your damage because they can just go through many different layers of uh, defenses like Black Rose Helena can go through Spirit, she can go through Magic Resistance with the right setup. She does two different types of damage, she can break barriers. Uh, Dwayne does very similar things as well, and both of them can also decrease Dark Resist to, to do more damage. So both of them are just phenomenal units. Uh, King Mont, I already talked about it as well, he, um, if you land a Berserk on two units with him, most of the time the game is already over. So just having a unit able to do that, I think, is, is insane. Uh, Gilgamesh, he's able to do a lot of damage. Uh, he can remove re-raise, which is becoming a pretty common buff these days uh, with his Kotetsu. He can also do, um, you know, like haste and quicken. And he has um, a shield that reduces damage for three turn for three hits, which is phenomenal. Like, you don't even need to bring uh, Marshall's TMR with him. He already has it built in just for himself but still you know it's very useful um and then you have uh you are zazan which needs at least you know three hits to kill himself because he has both courage uh which is a mortal spirit and he has fake death and then you have still have to kill him like you know a final time uh, so um you know you can also do like a double quick in zazan if you want to and make sure that uh uh you know like it's hard to kill him so enemies won't just one shot him with something because even if they do they still have to kill him two more times and while you're double quickening um each of the times you move you can use one of his uh like re-race skills right like you can use you know his natural turn you can use um fake death and then the first quicken you can use immortal spirit and then the second quicken you can go and use whatever attack you want um how to set up your double quicken team uh basically you want Sorry, let me just put 
him here. So you basically want your carry, in this case Dwayne, to be slower than your two quickeners. So you want your first quickener, say Nivlu is the fastest, you want Nivlu to go first and cast Quicken on Dwayne, and then on your second turn you want Phoebe to go next and cast Quicken on Dwayne, and then third turn you want Dwayne to move and then the two Quickens will resolve and he gets three turns in a row. That's the basic idea with that. Um, yeah, I, anyway, I mean, the, I hope th this kind of gives you some ideas on how to build your 220 cost teams. Uh, again, I'm sorry it's, you know, late as the third day, but um, this was as fast as I could get it. So I hope it's, you know, late, late is better than never, right? I hope. So um, if you have more questions or if you're still struggling with how to build this uh, 220 cost team, leave me a comment and um, I'll see what I can do to help you. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave me a comment below. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.